In May and June of 2015, Greenpeace traveled to the furthest corners of the globe. The goal of our expedition? To take snow and water samples and bring them back to the lab. We were looking for a specific chemical compound, and sadly, we were successful. Almost everywhere we looked for it, we found it. Even in some of the most remote and unspoiled corners of the globe. PFC compounds are chemicals that are used to make outdoor gear waterproof. Many manufacturers of weatherproof jackets, trousers and shoes use PFCs to make their products more water repellent. PFCs are man-made chemicals. They're not produced by any natural processes, so they only appear in nature as a result of human activity. During production, those tiny particles not only end up in nearby bodies of water, but are dispersed across the globe as gases or fine particulate matter. They travel with the wind and eventually drift back to Earth. These chemicals don't decompose in nature. They remain for years after their release in rivers, lakes and oceans. Some PFCs have known toxic properties, including the capability of interfering reproductive or hormone systems, and also some are possibly carcinogenic. When we had the samples tested, we found a range of PFC compounds. Once in the environment, PFCs can accumulate in the food chain and through these into human bodies. Yet these substances are not a necessity. Alternatives to PFCs are already on the market. Lab tests have confirmed their effectiveness. All of our expeditions use PFC-free outerwear, and they were very happy with the equipment, even in harsh weather conditions and above 5,000 meters of altitude. It's ironic to think that companies who depend on nature for their business willingly release dangerous chemicals into the environment. What needs to happen is a sea change in the minds of those who manufacture these products. This is where you and I come in. We need people like you who can challenge the outdoor brands to stop using PFCs. Share your ideas with us, join the movement and help us to detox.